here for a little bit uh, quick recap of why is basically we're trying to sell our house uh, the studio downstairs got totally removed I had to like whip this one up in the the in-laws uh, farm stand so I'm fucking trying I really am and uh, once I get set up uh, the plan is to, to move and, and rebuild um, in a back lot anyway uh, short story long is that uh, we're, we're making moves and so this the show has been kind of on the back burner but I'm back for like a kind of an impromptu session here because it's been just fucking chaos on the trade market and on the message board um, so I just wanted to check in with everyone I don't even know what I'm gonna talk about I'm kind of just felt like throwing this up and then seeing what happens uh, with a lot of it, lots been going on, a lot of controversy, a lot of discussion about the voting and the veto stuff. I said my piece and I'll stand by it. I feel like, especially in a keeper league, we have to kind of control the situation, especially, and I hate to fucking throw you under the bus, D Lionel, but it you're dominating the league, we have to be super careful what we're allowing to go to his team. And, I, and there's been some trades, there's been one trade in the history of our league that I vetoed, which is shocking that trade even went through, and that scares me a little bit. Uh, and then the Gaudier one, and I get it for Gaudier, and I think he's, like, uh, I talked to him the other day, and he's, you have to keep in mind, some of these guys are like hockey for life since they were five years old, even though Ben did, but he's, you know, he's just getting back into professional hockey and knowing teams other than the Bruins. So he doesn't know what's going on. Dwayne's like an expert salesman. Crazy salesman. He tries this shit on me and it makes me fucking laugh so hard the way he tries to pitch something uh, before he presents it to you. You you sent me a message the other day saying offer, the classic line offer, and then it's like, man, I, I shouldn't be doing this, but you know, it's, this is basically charity. <laughs> and then I look at the trade and I'm like, dude, fucking, why are you trying to fucking like sell me on something that you know I know is in fucking a charity case? But he tries, and those ones that squeak through, I feel like that'll benefit him in the long run. Is very dangerous for our league. And like uh, these nuts said, if he just keeps winning and buys his roster back. We're screwed for a little while unless we make some moves. He makes some mistakes here and there. Um, but he doesn't make a lot because he does his research. So you got to be careful. And I think it's up to the league. This is just my pitch and my two cents. So I'm going to use the vote button from now on really to think, is this help the league? Does this help my team? Um, there's someone I talked to the other day about uh, a fantasy football league. And... Um, I'm not going to mention names. I don't think it's relevant anyway. But uh, basically, in their league, I'm not even sure if it's a keeper league. And there's and there's two teams that make a trade, and it makes sense for both teams and improves both teams. If you're in this league and you're competitive, you should not want that trade to go through. And it makes sense. It made sense to me right when he said that. I mean, that's true, and that's kind of was my mentality, but to hear someone else say it in a different league that's, that takes it serious, it's true. If you're benefiting both teams, hey, yeah, go ahead and fucking, uh, I want you guys both to be better than me tomorrow. No, you want to stop that shit. This isn't the NHL. This isn't, you know, Stevie Y can call Florida Panthers and, and complain because they sent Yager to, you know, I mean, it's, that's not what this is about. It, it doesn't compare. This is a fucking fun keeper league where we should make it really tough to make trades. And I get it. If trades are fair, hey, 99.9% .9 of trades all have gone through. My argument is that last one where it got vetoed and then replaced with the exact same trade, 
is crazy to me that it went through. Because it does, in the long term, yeah, it helps uh, bucket list disciples probably in the short run right now. But Dwayne's team so strong that if he just keeps adding that one extra keeper, two extra keepers to his four guys he just got rid of that are good, and they'll help a team that's less uh, up in the standings, it's bad for our league because Dwayne's going to keep 15 guys next year and there's nothing we can do about it. And soon enough, and I hope this isn't the case and we all fight and battle, I'm sure we'll lose some stragglers, but I just hope people don't lose interest. And that's kind of my spiel of like, fuck, use your vote. Use your vote to your advantage because that's why it's there. I, I am in other leagues where there is no vote. It's a commissioner thing and people can protest. And that's what I feel like is the difference here is one's a protest and we didn't decide to do that. We decided to do a league vote. So vote, it's all unanimous, unanimous, anonymous, <laughs> unanimous, anonymous. I, I gotta smoke this joint, hold on. So when D Lionel wakes up and his trade was veto and is losing his shit. We should all love life. We should all think that's amazing because for some reason he's upset he didn't get that trade. <coughs> and I do it in good fun. This is a fun league, <coughs> but that, that's fun for me to fucking rile up D Lionel to get Patrick going on the message boards. Don't take me ever too seriously. Really, I'm joking. Uh, and I like this is just fun for me. It really is. So I'm not getting I know it's not life or death, but we put up some serious coin. There's like 1500 bucks prize pool in this year's uh, in the prize pool for this year's winners, like divvied up. But that's fucking a lot of money, man. That's some big time money. Oh yeah, speaking of that, what are you guys saying? The first bucket came in today. It is amazing. You guys gotta get one of these. CCM, the old school, uh, sorry about the hair. Like the old school stitching, it just feels old, but it's heavy. Super heavy and warm. Looks sharp, it's a little off-white faded. Looks super vintage. Uh, definitely get one. I got an LA one coming. I don't know why it wasn't in the same package, but um, I don't know. I might get more if I can get away with it from the wifey notice and I, I keep having different hats on. Because <laughs> it, is, it is a luxury I, I really don't need. I got a bunch of them, but uh, I like collecting this shit. Oh, this brings me to a point. A uh, topical question, I think. It might be a high talk, but uh, your stance on buying gear from just other teams that's not your favorite team. So I know there's people, especially around here in New England, I mean, it, it's all Pats. You're gonna see Pats jerseys and Bruins shit. That's it. I'm the only one in town. People look at me like I'm a freak because I got this on, I got Sharks on, uh, Islanders hats. But I was wondering, do you guys stick to one team, one team only? Um, I'm pure Vegas Golden Knights now and I'm gonna start loading up on their shit for sure. But I bought these hats, there's this one and the LA one, because I'm a fan of their logos, and I still can be a fan of their team. I mean, Vancouver was my childhood team, I feel like it's appropriate. Burry was my man, uh, lost in 94, broke my heart. Uh, and then the final straw was the Bruins beat them in, in game seven, and, and, um, and then Marchand, fucking punched Hendrick Sedin in the face 20 times and no one did shit. And I was like, no, I'm done. That's it. And then I went to the Sharks for about seven years because uh, uh, it's a weird long story with Katie who was in Miss USA with Miss Mass who was Doug Wilson's daughter. Uh, and then so I kind of was like partial to that and she was cool. They were friends for a bit. And then I, I met Doug Wilson one time at a dinner. Just name dropping here, but you guys know I'm not like that. Uh, but so I was like, ah, and I not like their logo. I was, I'm a big fan of Pavelski. I think maybe I was a fan of the Sharks before all the players. And then I grew to love those players, I think. So that's why um, Neil might grow on me. I don't like him at all, but he could grow on me if he sticks around the Knights and keeps playing well. Um, yeah, I still haven't figured out who I'd get for a Vegas Knights jersey. Uh, I was Theodore because I just liked his name and I thought he'd be the man since day one, like a young, good quarterback. <coughs> uh, 
but fuck, he's a healthy scratch half the time. He's played four games and he's just hasn't turned out really. Um, but anyway, yeah, back to the back to the hockey. It's it's been such a fun year. And the more competitive guys, the better. These nuts make it a run, man. You got a scary team. I looked at some teams, and there's still a lot of good teams out there. It, it all depends. D Lino does have an aside. Like Simmons has very underperformed. So is Crosby. Uh, with that being said, some of your guys have stepped up too, so you can't complain. Uh, getting Hornquist back on your team, basically just getting 10 points a night, which is ridiculous. But uh, these nuts is coming. Fuck, he's going toe to toe. It's like a heavyweight battle, and I'm just hoping to sneak in and some guys get super hot. And injuries, injuries, injuries. Stay away. Uh, knock on wood. One guy, I'm not even gonna say. It. I'll just say Patrick. I just, just for hockey's sake. I know. I hope this doesn't jinx you, but you know who we're talking about. Just stay healthy for a full year and see what he can do. Fuck, he's amazing. He's so good. Uh, but these nuts getting Kucherov back. Fuck, that was huge. Huge news. I would have given anything. Um, I think you got him at a good price, Rhino. I hate to say it, and I get what you're doing too, Rhino. You're building a young team, but you're gonna have an expensive team at the end of the year for guys that you, if you're gonna keep, it's gonna cost you a lot of money. Like to keep Aho is fucking seems ridiculous if you're gonna keep all your young guns that you've been loading up on. So keep that in mind when you're trading off your, you know, some of your vets. I get going young uh, for especially the big guys like Keller Keller I feel he's like legit I like him a lot uh, just putting up points man. I like that's good uh, so that was a good part of that trade I like point too I think he's a good player uh, so I don't think the Kucherov deal is a complete disaster Bobrovsky's fucking sick but I just think losing the best player and I said it from day one before the season started Kucherov 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 and look what's happening. Fuck. Yeah, I don't have them though. I have them in a lot of my other pools, but unfortunately the rest of my team's shit. So uh, it's been a battle all year, but it's been super fun. Uh, hopefully, maybe I'll like the setup. I'll see what you guys think. I'll give you the tour when it's a little more set up. But this, I literally turned an old farm stand they had built. It's my new grow shop. So um, yeah, it should be interesting. Once it's all set up and looking cool, uh, it's getting there. I got Lionel Richie in the background for Dwayne. Uh, literally, that's not a prop that I set up. That was Dwayne, or uh, Katie's mom was jamming into that when I wasn't here. So that's good to know it's being used. But hope everyone's having fun still. Don't get frustrated. Lipper, I want to see you out of that basement, man. I think you got to make some moves. You got to sell some of your big guns to get a couple of lower key guys, kind of like what Rhino's been doing. Get some younger guys. You have to rebuild, my friend. <laughs> I know Dwayne's gonna love that too because we've been beaking you and you don't think so, but uh, I just want to see you out of that basement and uh, keep making moves. Let's have some fun and yeah, I'll see you on the trade wire. Burns is back, baby. I was hoping he would score last night, uh, but now it makes sense. Just leave it. I sent a tweet out to Burns, by the way, and it's the most incoherent tweet ever. I just wanted to delete it. It's so embarrassing. And it's got all those question marks because of the iPod or the iPhone. It's all fucked up. So it's embarrassing. But uh, Burns is back where he's supposed to be. Bold move. Wheeler's fucking legit. I love Wheeler. So Burns, I'm counting on you now, man. You, you need to come through. But it could be a game changer for me. All right. Cheers, guys. Light one up tonight. Have a glass of wine. And celebrate life. It's short.